Let's go and say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. I told you, I came out there teaching the gospel. Like you was commanded. We just finna go in the spirit. Te teach his word. You know, we out here in Columbus, Ohio. And this shit is trash. Uh, I'm just gonna start. This girl tripping. I'm gonna start off with First Corinthians. Anything you want to go to? No, I'm just gonna get just getting in the spirit. If I can get to it. Uh, where should I start? All right, you know what? I'm going to start at 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yehoshaphat Mashiach, in the English it said Jesus Christ, but we know the Lord didn't speak English, okay? The English language was not around during the Bible days. People are so dumb. Now you got that dude, he always get mad. He's like, oh. How come I can't call him Jesus? That, that name wasn't even around 2,000 years ago. But I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yehoshaphat Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Right, we all supposed to speak the same thing. Like, we know the Bible says what? It said the Lord only came for the Israelites. But that's what everybody's supposed to teach. Okay, because you got some groups that teach that all nations can be saved. But you, you know that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Just like you got some people that believe that Mary was a virgin. You know what I'm saying? That's not in the scripture. We all got to teach the same thing. Y'all causing, every time y'all teaching something bugged out, you causing division. You know what I mean? Like, you, like I said, you got people who say the Israelites is only only dark-skinned people. You've seen them people that say the uh, only Israelites is African. Only Africans is Israelites. That's bugged out. You know what I mean? You got people who teach the, uh, like I said, they teach Mary's a virgin. You got people who say reincarnation is not in the Bible. Okay? People, everybody teaches something different. You, we all supposed to teach the same exact thing. Because we teaching the Bible the right way. If somebody's not teaching what we're teaching, that means they're teaching it the wrong way. Okay, because what did the Bible say? The Lord only came for the Israelites. Okay, you're supposed to keep the law. You got some Israelite group saying you ain't got to keep the law. Yeah, you got to keep the law. You ain't allowed to eat no pork, okay? They always play that cannon. Oh, like the mark of the beast. You got a lot of guys, they'll say the mark of the beast is sin. You got a, a lot of Israelites, you know they Israelites, they're teaching that. They'll say, oh, the mark of the beast, that's sin. No, the mark of the beast is the microchip. It's not sin. The Lord came to forgive you of your sins. So how the hell could the mark of the beast be sin? That the Lord came to forgive you of sin. That don't make no sense. Yeah, we all supposed to say the exact same thing. So if you're not saying the exact same thing as us, you're causing division. Like all the people on the comic board who disagree with us. It is supposed to be no disagreements among all of us, right? 
we supposed to all be brothers. One body. One body in, in your house shot. Oh, that's a group called that is. Oh my god. Why yeah, what why y'all got is still stuff in the Bible? Okay. But yeah, we're all supposed to be one body, one church, one one mind. Everybody's supposed to say exact same thing. So me and him, we're saying that we're teach we believe exactly the same thing. All the other brothers throughout, you know, we all teach exactly the same thing. So all you people to come up on a comment board scoffing, you're causing division. Okay, you're a divider, not a uniter. Because really, I mean, the Lord came to bring division anyway. But you know what I'm saying. Go ahead. Which corrupt the word of God, but as a sincerity, but as a God, in the sight of God speaking, and the outshot. Read that again, my fault. God. Yeah, we are not as many which corrupt the word. Many. There's many Bible teachers out there. Like you got all these Christians. They, they all corrupt the word of the Most High. First they say the Lord's name is Jesus Christ. They say the Lord's a white man with long hair. But here it is. The Bible says the Lord's a so-called black man. And, and it says it's, it says shame for a man to have long hair. But all these Christians got a long hair Jesus. You know what I'm saying? When that the Bible said that's a shame. Okay? All these Christians, they teaching lies. They saying that the Lord uh, came to save all nations. The Most High don't give a damn about these heathens. He only came for the Israelites. What else they teach is bullshit. They teach that Mary was a virgin. That's not in the scriptures. They, yeah, they teach. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Hell. They teach you that when you die, you go to hell. That's not in the scriptures. They teach. Uh, you can break all the commandments. They say you're allowed to eat pork. You know what I'm saying? They say the law is done away with. So I guess that means you don't have to get circumcised. Too. I was thinking about that. They say the law is done away with. Then how come all of y'all get circumcised? If the law is done away with. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sound stupid when you talk. The law ain't done away with. Oh, you got something? Hey, you want to read some of that Corinthians? Just read from 10 down. You can just stay on that chapter all day. <laughs> uh, no, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Just read that again and we'll just read all the way down. And you see, brother, by the name of our Lord, you shy that you speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, would have been declared unto me, or me, my brethren, by them which of the house of uh, Kolot, Kolot, that, that, that there are contentions among you. Now, this I say, that every one of you said, I am Paul, and I'm a follower of the disciples. Uh, Messiah, Messiah divided, Paul crucified, or... Oh, yeah, because... What did he say? Paul and Cephas? Yeah. Cephas, you know who that is, right? That's Peter. The head disciple. But Apollos, Apollos was a top. He's one of the heads back then, too. Okay, but so read that again. Oh, that's another thing. I'll call, keep going. That's a good one. And I baptized also in the household of Stephens and Thaddeus. Besides, I know not whether I baptize the other. But you have shots to me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Oh, that's another thing. You got groups out there to say, oh, a lot of Christians is like that. They say you have to get baptized. Oh, the, the, the Catholic Church, they baptize you when you're an infant. When you're a baby. They baptize you. They, they say it has to be done. If you don't get baptized by the Catholic Church, you're not, and they say you're not part of the church. But Paul said he ain't come to baptize. He come to baptize you with the word. 
They ain't baptizing with, with water, but with the Word, with the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Okay, my fault, because you're right, you're right, you're right, we got people come up and say that. Oh, y'all ain't got baptized. You know? What, but what if we start baptizing people out here? We're like, come on. We're going down to the river. Let's go. We probably get a lot of followers like that because people are simple, man. Go ahead. It says, now the wisdom of words used to cross the, uh, the Abishash and be made of none effect. But the preaching of the cross and crosses to them that perish foolishly. Yeah, because yeah, the preaching of the cross to them that perish is foolishness. Like, look at all these fools out here. I ain't heard a lot of people out here right now, but these they goddamn fools out here, bro. And they all gonna perish. Look at them. They all gonna perish. So that's why they think that this truth is foolish. Cause they goddamn foolish. Read that again. Preacher the cross to them that perish foolish. This but to us which are saved with the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Yeah, bring the understanding nothing of the prudent. Like all these people out here, you got all these like scholars, you know what I'm saying, uh, rich people, pr prominent members of society. They think they know so fucking much. They don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? They're they going to they gonna be destroyed, bro. We're going to get put on top. Think they know something. We got the truth. They don't know that. Oh, where's the disputer of this world? All oh, right, if they were so wise, they'd be out here disputing the world. What's up? How you doing? Hey. These people, they think they're so intelligent that they should be out here disputing this wicked, evil-ass world. We actually out here disputing this world. Go ahead. my ear and I was not rebellious. Is that what he said? So that's what we did when, when we heard the truth. We heard the truth. He was like, oh, that's, a, that's beautiful. What's that? That's a beautiful song. We heard that truth and we weren't rebellious to the truth. We opened our ears to the truth. A lot of these people, they, they stop with their ear. They get pissed off. When you read the Bible, they get pissed off. They tell you to shut the hell up. You know, fuck these people. Go ahead. Because the Lord gave us the spirit, people really can't fuck with us. Okay, they can't deal with us in this knowledge, bro. Anybody that come up here trying to talk any kind of mess, they can get smit through the spirit. Check it out, what is it? Yeah, totally. 
Hey, can I ask you a question real quick? Can, can I ask you a question? Church of Scientology. Y'all, so you you part of the church? Uh, Sorry? You part of the Scientology? Yeah. So I just one question. Yeah. Who, who's flying into UFOs? You don't know? I may be UFOs, no? You're into UFOs, right? Scientology is in there, right? You seem to know more about it than I me. do. It's the Lord and the angels. Y'all don't believe in the scriptures? It's not a belief system. Scientology is not a belief system. Right, Dianetics, any... Dianetics right? All it's that. A, it's a philosophy. You know? it's, it's right. A well, I, yeah. Well, it, it, we have. I we seen have... the South Park episode. You seen that? No, because not the first. Yeah, watch South Park? No. no. You didn't watch but, that? But he's the Come thing. on, you're a Scientology. You know, you've seen the South Park episode. We all know about what's the guy's name? Um, all right, well, thanks. It's okay. Look, you can have your religion and you could also. I don't have a religion. We don't have religion. Okay, fine. I think the Bible's not a book of religion, it's a book for the Israelites. Oh, good. Yeah. Because you know, the Lord going to come back soon out of, out of the heavens in the chariots, the so called UFOs. The UFOs is uh, flown by so called black people with woolly hair. You know, the Lord's a black man, right? The so-called, the one they call Jesus, he's a so-called black man, yeah. and he's coming back, and he's putting all the so-called Edomites, all the white people in slavery. And that's what's going to happen. All the enemies of the Lord are going to bow down to the Israelites. And that's what's going to happen. Oh, I see. So this right here is a waste of time. Oh, it's not going to get well, you out of slavery. <laughs> well, you can try that. All right. Oh, it was very weird. Science. Man, they try to say they didn't believe in UFOs. You seen the South Park episode, right? You didn't see it? Man, y'all gotta get on YouTube and walk, uh, type in South Park Scientology. They break it down what the Scientologists believe. Let me see. Got Let's look it up real quick. I was having a hard time talking to them people. Yeah, cool. Just type in, uh, type in Scientology, UFOs, aliens. I forgot the guy's name. They said there was some kind of galactic battle thousands of years ago. Let me see. Scientology. UFO, alien. I forgot. I, I forgot the alien's name. I should be on top of my Scientology game. Oh, Zenu. That's it. Zenu. Okay, Zenu, also called Zemu, was according to Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard, the dictator of the Galactic Confederacy, who bought billion, who brought billions of his people to the Earth in the DC-8 like spacecraft 75 billion years ago stacked them around volcanoes and killed them with hydrogen bombs <laughs> that's why I said bro that's your I forgot his name Xenu that could the spirit wasn't dealing with them I'm a little sluggish today but I couldn't remember his damn name when the Scientology people was up here it's all good though, because the Scientologists they do they believe in some bugged out shit about Xenu. He was the leader, the dictator, of the Galactic Confederation, and they try to say, "Oh, this is not a religion, bro. This is crazy." Discover what's holding you back. This is trash. Oh look, Church of Scientology. They got their little. Zap that. It's got a pyramid in the middle of it. You see that? Trash. I was getting back to that. Uh, yeah, go watch that South Park video. Just type in South Park Scientology. Have a good laugh. First for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom is not God, but please God by the foolishness of preaching, save them that believe. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, hold up. Read that again. I'm having a hard time here. I can't hear shit. 
It says, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom we do not God, please God by the foolishness of preaching. Them All right, it, it pleased the most high by the fool. Cause really, what we doing right now? This is really foolishness. You know what I mean? It's the foolishness of preaching. We come out here, we don't give a damn, bro. We out here, people looking at us like we crazy. We out here with Bibles. You know what I'm saying? Even the Scientologists thought we was crazy. You know what I mean? They crazy. <laughs> he knows bad with the Scientologists think you crazy. But if, if we are crazy though. We're mad. Hey, read that again. That's a fire scripture. For that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom, not God. It says, it please God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Yeah, the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Go ahead. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach how shall crucified unto the Jews the stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. Right, because, you know, just like the Israelites... It's going back in the day, you know, the Israelites, they'd have to see a sign. Just like they asked the Lord for a sign in Matthew, or uh, the gospel. And he's like, the only sign going to be given to you is the sign that the prophet showed them. But, uh, so, yeah, so the, the the Jews was always looking for the sign, but the Greeks, they was all, they, they only uh, believed in so-called science and shit, just like today. You know, people, oh, I need evidence. I ain't going to believe nothing you say. Oh, UFOs, I don't believe in UFOs. You got to... You gotta give me some, even though there's like unlimited videos on it, they'll still say they need proof. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see everything with my eyes. Like, I tell people I see UFOs. I have seen the UFOs. I've seen the chariots. I've seen, I know you've seen them. We've seen them, but people are like, how come you didn't get a video of it? You know? I'll deliberately not take a video of it. Because, I mean, the Lord really dealing with you. You're going to see the chariots. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see it. They're going to come to you. Go ahead. Says, uh, you know, them, which are far above Jews and Greeks, now shine a power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. The foolishness of the Most High is wiser than... See, these people think they're so intelligent, man. Think they know so goddamn much. Scientists think they know so much. Talking about they know how the sun is made, but they ain't never made a sun before. Here they're going to sit here and tell us they know how to make a sun, but they ain't never made a sun. You know what I'm saying? They're going to sit here and try to tell us they know what Jupiter is made out of. Oh, we know Jupiter. Oh, but y'all ain't, ain't never even been to no Jupiter, bro. Act like you know so much. You know what I'm saying? They think they're so intelligent. They don't know a goddamn thing. That, that guitar is slick right now. But you know, that kills you to have people, they they think they know so much, man. They come up here like, oh, the Bible's bullshit. I believe in science. Science is bullshit. I mean, but science is just knowledge, right? But y'all have no knowledge. You have no science. Science false and so-called. Yeah, science is false, exactly. That shit's fucking stupid. It's like retarded. It's like, I don't know what the fuck. It's like, God damn, that shit's beyond stupid. Really think about it. These niggas really think that, that we came from apes. We evolved from apes and we fucking... Mad. Bro, stupid. I've had people come up here and argue that they actually believe that chickens evolved from T-Rexes. A rooster, a chicken. They said it evolved from a T-Rex. And they actually believe that. And they look at me like, we got the video, bro. I... I've debated with like an hour with this dude, man, and he was he was perplexed that I didn't believe that a chicken was came from a T Rex. Like I'm really supposed to believe that. Uh, Wisdom Solomon 13 and 9 it says, uh, for if they were able to know so much that they could aim at the world, how did they not sooner find out the Lord's love? Yeah, if y'all knew so damn much, you know that the Lord was real. Yeah, you know, he saw this. He's just, he's just being a stupid ass demon, making everybody else deceive. He was the most high. Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he know his son, yeah, how was I real? Yeah. That's so why everything he does, he always use, uh, what's the shit called? Uh, he always go back to the Bible, you know what I'm saying? He always, always, always use some type of 
some something uh, that uh, that reference the Bible or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. he knows it's real. Like just like all the top scholars, they know they all know that the one they called Jesus was a real person who actually lived. You got, you know what I'm saying? You get on YouTube and type in historical Jesus or whatever. Like all the top scholars, they all agree that yeah, this man really lived. Matter of fact, there's more proof that he lived than almost anybody else from the ancient world. I mean, a, a famous dude is that Bart Ehrman guy. He don't believe in the scriptures, but I see him debating. He's like, this. of course he lived. Of course he lived. You knew so damn, you know what I mean? People don't know shit. It says, you see here, calling, brethren, and that not so many wise after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are far. God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. Yeah, the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Like, hey, like we'll, we'll tell them that the Lord was crucified and rose from the dead. That will confound the wise. That'll confound somebody. We'll tell them that we're going to take over this earth and we're going to rule this planet. That'll confound that. They'll hear that. They're like, Nips, that's madness. You know, like in Scientologists just looked at me like I was a fucking retard. You know? Because they thought they were so intelligent. They looked at me like, they looked at us like we was retarded. You know what I'm saying? When these people, they the actual retards. You got more to that? It says, and base things in the world and things that are despised have God chosen, yea, things which are not. Yeah, because we despise. They despise. We the lowest of the low out here. You know what I'm saying? We come from the bottom. We come from nothing. And we despise. They look at us like we're the filth of the earth. But really, Esau, he's the filth. Go ahead. To uh, bring to not things that are. Yeah, that's what people, they can't believe it. Man, I was watching, somebody uh, came on our videos, and they'd be like, oh, I like me some good hood preaching. I'm like, bro, I can, you know what I mean? You deserve to be smacked for saying that. Because they look at us like we just hood. You know what I mean? Because the way we talk, they look down on us. Because the way we talk, the way we came up, where we from. Like, you think y'all above somebody. You know what I mean? You talk better English than, than us, so you think you, you better than us. When you ain't shit either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Moses had a speech of pedophilia. I guess what happened when somebody spoke bad against the Lord what is that moment? The Lord said it's the most humblest man in, in, uh, in the world right now. So you, you, you speak against him, the Lord going to punish him. It's going to happen to Mary of Aaron. You know what I'm saying? It's really, the Lord punished Mary and Lord, but you know. Yeah. Still, it's, 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 the scripture says it's not wise to despise the, uh, the, poor, the poor righteous man. Because the Lord, the Lord really don't give a fuck about these people in the high position. The Lord hates these people in the high position. These, uh, these, these so-called celebrities, these mega churches. The Lord hates all them niggas. I'm saying the Lord only loves the, the ones that fear him. Which the only ones that really fear him right now is the lowly, the poor of the world. Yeah, that, that's the poor the, who's crying out to the most high. That's the poor. The, you know, that's why the Lord said the meek shall inherit the earth. You got these people, most of these people that got money, got bread, they ain't crying out to the Most High. But the Most High set it up like that. Uh, first Samuel 2 and uh, 8, he said, base things, which we are based right now. He says, he uh, raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes to make them inherit the throne of God and the throne of glory. That's what they say. Wisdom Solomon 5 says, uh, or, or uh, what did it say? It said, uh, uh, shit. Are they a number, uh, these people numbered among the saints? They okay, look at us as niggas and spicks and, uh, fucking humble tongue walks on and crazy shit. They look at us like, oh, these niggas really the saints? They 
said, but he said the, the poor out of the dunghill to be among princes. You know what I'm saying? And to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth on your house, and he have set up the world upon them. And these people, they so simple, they, a lot of people, they won't listen to us just because the way we look, just because the way we talk, you know? That's good, though. Yeah, because this, this shit, this truth, <laughs> this truth ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. Gimmicks. Yeah, no gimmicks. That's what people do, like, people, I remember, I remember talking about that dude, uh, and, uh, fuck it, what's that? You know, dude, light skinned dude, brave, um, man of valor, or whatever. What, what happened? Remember, he's wearing that dumbass fucking uh, blue vest and cap. Oh, I still ain't seen that. Yeah, I guess. I remember I seen the video of the dude on the convoy, so well, maybe it's okay if you do it because you know, get people to listen. Like, man, fuck all that shit, man. If, if we gonna, we gonna come out looking like bums, whatever the case is, it don't matter what we look like or who we are. The Lord wants you to listen to the word. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if fucking, uh, uh, what's that nigga name? Uh, some type of stupid ass celebrity would come out here and start teaching. Everybody would come out because he's teaching. You know, he's he supposed to come out because of the word, not because of who, who's speaking or what he's wearing or what he's saying. Right. If, if we had so many famous come out here, let's say <laughs> Jamie Foxx came out here. I don't anybody. It could be. What was the bad rapper? He's a bird, some shit. Oh, God, not him. Who did who did Jake like? We can just say I would say Drake came out here or something. I don't know. And we put in the video title, oh, bro, we teach Drake the gospel. Drake find out he an Israelite. Bro, that video is going to have 3 million views, bro. It's going to get millions of views. But they, they there to see Drake, not the Lord. You know what I mean? They, they there to see Drake. They're not there to see the Lord. Yeah, because you have a shot more famous than all these fucking bastards. He's the most famous of them all. He's established a great name in the earth. It's uh, Jeremiah 9 and 23. He does say, if you, I will let not the wise man glory, because really, the Corinthians right here, that's really quote Jeremiah 9, but I'm going to finish this Corinthians real quick. Uh, first Corinthians. Back to 1 Corinthians 1 and 30, uh, yeah, 30, 29, that no flesh shall glory in his presence, but of him, but of him are ye and Yahweh who is God unto us, is made, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Ooh, that, sanctification. And we sanctify. Sanctify them with thy truth, thy word is truth. That according to that it is written, he that glorious. Let him glory in the Lord. And that's what it is right here. Jeremiah 9 and 23. There said, Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. And uh, But let him, it's like, it's like, it's like, for example, King David. He was 17 years old. He wasn't mighty, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, through the, through the spirit of the Lord, he, he killed that lion and the bear and, and Goliath. You know what I'm saying? He didn't glory all year. See, I've been, I killed Goliath because I'm so strong. You know, yeah, the Lord. He didn't kill Goliath. He was like, y'all can't see me. You know what I mean? You know how they do it. Yeah. He, he gave praise to the Most High. He went out there boasting to them himself. Like, I'm a bad motherfucker. You know what I mean? The champ is here. The champ oh, yeah, is the here. champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't hear what you can't see looking at him. around him. Yeah. See, he did it all for the Lord. He didn't do it for himself. Because yeah. Goliath was talking shit against him. He said, I'm going to destroy you because you, you defy the name of the Lord. Said, who, who is this filthy ass Philistine? Who is this nigga defiling the name of the Lord? I'm going to chop the nigga's head off. You know what I'm saying? I just want to read that real quick. Just, yeah, that's right there. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get to him. Oh, shit. I like that, though. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the thing, man. That's the beautiful thing about this. That's why the Lord said, uh, pride is not made for man. It's, pride is not, uh, what we say, uh, pride is hateful before God in man. You're supposed to, you're supposed to have, uh, uh, what's it called? You're supposed to, uh, pretty much, your whole fucking uh, life is supposed to be given unto the Lord, not to yourself, 
glorifying yourself all the goddamn time. You're supposed to give the thanks to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But people in the world, they go, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting this work I made, myself made. But I think Drake said that shit. Didn't he say that? What's that? made whatever the fuck. Yeah, I, I did this myself. I kept it myself. Then we'll give thanks to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I'm going finish a little bit more. I got a little bit more of this. Uh, back to Jeremiah 9. And, uh, uh, 24, but let him that glorious glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which executeth loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, said Yahweh. Loving kindness. They we, they gonna say we're not loving kind. <laughs> Actually, we the, we the most loviest people out here. Passionate. Yeah, we compassionate out here. Just oh, but we said fucking shit, bro. Oh, oh you bro. gonna burn in hell. Yeah. Burning hell. Where, where's the love and compassion of that? I'm talking about you gonna burn in hell forever. Forever. What the fuck? That's crazy. It, but we the evil ones because we said shit and fuck. You know? What's that when, when the Lord gives that power? What's that thing that, uh, that bag you be boxing on, the uh, bag. We be doing that to their head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can just see it. You got past a pork chop, just. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make their neck just like. <laughs> I'm gonna make their neck just like that. <laughs> just how, just how to. Uh, the little bag is made, so but you keep hitting it. You just go back and forth. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you don't mess me up, man. What was you? We got more to that Corinthians, don't we? No, that was it. It was. We got to keep going to the next chapter. We just keep going on that. Oh, yeah. That was when we was talking about David. Uh... Like we had mentioned earlier, how King David, he didn't take, he didn't take no kind of, uh, he, he didn't, I, don't, I can't even speak. <laughs> he gave the Most High all the praise for uh, killing Goliath. He wasn't boasting when he killed Goliath. He gave all praise to the Most High. Like these people out here, they all, like another thing is like you got guys that be out here teaching was good. And they they pretty much boasting in their wisdom. Like they know a lot of shit. You know a lot, you study a lot. So you make all all the videos and everything is all about you and how much you know. And it's not about the gospel. It becomes more about you and about how you know, you're the smartest guy on earth. That's the truth is not about that. We didn't come out here to boast that we the smartest people ever and we know more more shit than everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's not what it's about. I was going to get this just real quick. Because we he's talking about David and Goliath, you can't say it without reading it. Uh, I'm just going to go straight to the point, though. Uh, uh, 1 Samuel uh, 17 and 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give the flesh unto the fowls of the air, to the beasts of the earth, the field. Then David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. It really says the name of Yahweh of hosts. The God of the armies of Israel whom thou hast defied, defied. This day will Yahweh deliver thee into mine hand. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And give the carcass of the host to the, of the Philistines. This day to the fowls of the air to the wild beasts of the earth. That all the earth may know there is a power in Israel. And all the assembly shall know that Yahweh saveth not with sword and with spear, for the battle is Yahweh's, and he will give you into our hands. Oh, the battle is the Most High's. Just like this battle out here, this is the Most High. We, this is a battlefield right here. 
So everything we doing out here, we doing it in the name of the Lord. We ain't coming out here. This is not our program. We did not come in out here to prove to you that we're the greatest teachers on earth. You know? We the baddest. Like, he said you went out teaching with a bulletproof vest on. That's just showboat. You know what I mean? That's making it about you. Oh, look at me. How cool I am. I got a bulletproof vest. I, I, that's, that's nonsense. I, like when you see guys going out with scepters and you got, they go too, they, they're doing too much. You know what I mean? Too much theatrics. Let's go ahead. Remember that nigga fell out one time ago? He, uh, he was wearing a uh, boxing uh, fucking raps. He was doing what? He was wearing like, you know, like you wrap your hands before you punch and yeah. shit. Yeah. He was wearing that shit at camp. Like, He's like Rue from Street Fighter? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was some bullshit because I guess his girl was teaching him. I guess his girl made him believe that the earth is flat or some shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's some more of that bullshit right there. Y'all try to go too deep. Y'all act like y'all know so much. Oh, I got all the deep mysteries and knowledges. I'm talking about the earth is flat. Fuck out of here. You sound like for real stupid talking about the earth is flat, bro. I mean, you sound retarded. How could the earth... I mean, I'm not even going... You can't even entertain an idea like that. So, chapter 2 says, And I, brethren, which, uh, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech. Oh, we back in Corinthians 2. Is that second chapter? Or third chapter? Oh, go ahead. Oh, see, read that again. He said, Not with excellency of speech. You see that? We're not out here speaking excellent, giving you the perfect speeches. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. Yeah, so that we ain't come out here like with an excellent of speech. I mean, we know a lot of stuff. I mean, we got some knowledge. But it really ain't. The only thing you need to know is Yahweh Shai was crucified for Israel. That's the main thing you need to realize. Read that part again. That's, that's key right there. And you, uh, not with excellency of speech or wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shai, and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech, my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God right oh and who was your house I crucified for oh get that axe you know the axe we saw on the tree because he was crucified for the nation of Israel that's because that's what you need to know it's so, Acts 5 and 30 and, uh, the God of our father you have raised raised up you have shy with the on the tree have God exalted in his right hand to be a prince and savior for to give a to Israel. Right. So, so he was crucified. That that, that was uh, a sacrifice. You know what I mean? That's like pretty much the ultimate sacrifice. Because he came to forgive Israel of their sins. So when, the, when he got put to death, he took on all the sins of the Israelites. And he came to be a savior to Israel. And then to bring uh, repent to sins to Israel. Oh, he's going to be an actual physical savior. He saved us from our sins. He'll forgive us. But the Lord going to come back to the earth. And he's going to be an actual, literal, physical savior. He's going to come out of the sky with them chariots, them spaceships, with the angels. And he's going to dest destroy our enemies. And he's going to uh, bring us into the kingdom. Uh, what you got? Back in that corner. So, the reason I say that too, because he's talking about this crucifixion right here, and how that's like the most important thing, right, to know about, because he was crucified for Israel. Oh, when the Lord was crucified, what did it? What did Pontius Pilate write on the cross? He wrote "King of the Jews" in three different languages, in uh, Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. He wrote "King of the Jews," telling you that he came for the Israelites. He was the King of Israel. Go ahead. He's the savior for Israel. I believe you speak wisdom among them that are perfect, 
Yeah, not the wisdom of this world, not of the princes of this world that come to not. We speak the wisdom of God and the mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained for the world and to our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, had they had known it, they would have not crucified the Lord's glory. Right. The princes of this world, the devil, the people who run this shit out here. Right, because Pontius Pilate, he's, he's still the devil. Yeah, he's the Edomite. Go ahead. It says, but it has written, I have not seen, and ear have not heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Oh, see? The things that are the most high preparing for them to love him, which is the kingdom. Go ahead. For God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit, for the spirit searches all things. All well, right, see, look, this is how you get the truth. You, you get the truth and you receive the truth not by wisdom of words, but you get it through the Spirit. The Spirit will reveal the truth to you. Uh, so read that again. That is right. That is right. says, Build them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things. So the Spirit searches all things. Go ahead. Things of God. The, you gotta slow down. Read that again. Slow. Okay, this is how you get the truth, man. Like, hey, now, yeah, exactly. You see how Paul kept telling him, though, you ain't get this through the words, the wisdom of words, bro. You got this. This is revealed through the Spirit. This truth is revealed through the Spirit. Go ahead. The things of God. What man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Right, so we ain't got the Spirit of this world. The Spirit of this world, look at this demon. That's that Christian guy, ain't it? Yeah, you never seen him before? Seen him. Good, good loser. But we ain't got the Spirit of this world. The Spirit of this world is adultery, vanity. Being an asshole. So we got the spirit of the most high. Is there more than that? It says, For now we see of the spirit of the world, the spirit of the voices of God, and we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which means also we speak, not in the words of man's wisdom teaching, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Right, the Holy Spirit teaches. That's why I said we got this truth to the Spirit. The, Ho the Holy Spirit taught us this truth. How do you think we know that your house is the Son of the Most High? The Most High, we seen it in the Spirit. We seen it. The Holy, the Spirit revealed it to us. How, how can we tell if somebody's an Israelite or not? You can look at somebody, and you can tell through the Spirit. The Spirit reveals it that they're an Israelite or not. You know what I'm saying? How do, you, how do you understand if a prophecy is true or not? You got to see that vision. Like when you read the scriptures, and the scriptures talk about them, that fire, you know through the spirit, that's talking about them nukes. Like the mark of the beast. Through the spirit, you've seen the vision. We know the mark of the beast is the microchip. We, we, it got revealed through the spirit. Go ahead. spiritual things were spiritual, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. And the natural man, the natural man being like somebody says, oh, I only believe in science and facts and concrete evidence, you know? You know, people, they, they don't want to believe nothing. They got no faith in nothing. Because the Spirit, because they're not, spirit, the Spirit not dealing with them. And people think we just blindly follow them. We just got that blind faith. But we ain't got blind faith. We, we got we can see it. We we got we can see the truth, bro. Cause we see it in the spirit. That's not blind faith. Go ahead. And he can know them because they are spiritually discerned. He that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself. Oh, oh, he and see. So he that is spiritual judges all things. And we see cause we're spiritual. So we can see it. We see all things, right? Since we spiritual, we can see things that other people can't see. We can see spiritual shit that y'all can't see. We we got the sight beyond. You ever watch Thundercats? 
sight beyond sight. You ever watch that? Yeah. But for real though, we can see stuff up that that these raggedy people they can't see they can't see the things we see. So that's read that again. That uh what that 215? He that is spiritual judges all things. Because we had the sight to, you know, to judge all things. We got that vision. That the Lord gave us a spirit. So we get we got the spirit because to, to be a judge, you gotta have that righteous spirit on you. Yeah, we got the exactly we got the mind of Yahweh Shad. And since we got the mind of Yahweh Shah, that means we can judge all, all things. But you got these dumbass Christians talking about, oh, you can't judge. Only God can judge me. But the scriptures say he the spiritual judges all things. But, it, but the Christians say you can't judge nobody. And then that teaching, nothing they teaching is correct. How can you stay up in them churches, bro? What is wrong with you? You can't get me up in one of them places. Could you imagine sitting through one of them sermons? Oh my goodness. Whew. That's torture. I remember going to church as a child. It was torture. It's fucking, that's child abuse. Making your children go to them churches. The most boringest shit you'll ever experience in your life. Unless you go to one of them uh, hood churches, they've been there dancing, bitches twerking. Get on YouTube, type in church twerking or something like that. You seen the video, right? Bitches twerking in church? Get the fuck out of here. You got so much you want to read? We should go to the spirit. I was just about, I was getting that scripture right now. Oh, that's that's the spirit. See, that's not you can't explain that. It's stuff like that, spiritual stuff, coincidences. Ain't no such things, no coincidence. You know what I mean? It's spiritual things we can see. Mama, go ahead. That's good. This what you got to pray for. You got to pray for the serpent. You know what I'm saying? That's everything right now. But yeah, he said he's going to discern between the righteous and the wicked. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's uh, uh, spiritual discernment. These people don't got that. These people, that's why you ask these people today, you ask them, or you tell them that, uh, like, for example, homosexuality is wrong, and they would say, and they would say oh, no, who are you, who are you the judge? How, how are you going to know what's right and wrong? These people don't know between right and wrong. That's how stupid these people are. These people, a lot of these people are fucking 40, 30, 20 years old, you still don't know what the fuck between right and wrong. You're just a complete idiot. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord's talk gave us the spirit to this man of the Lord to, to, to speak with boldness, to know, not to think, not to believe. We know what right and wrong is. You know what I'm saying? Through the, through the, through the scriptures. But, but they'll say they leave it up to the government to be the, uh, yeah. to, to, to declare what's right and wrong. Yeah. So they're going to leave it up to the government to be the moral authority. They, you know, people, they got a problem with the Bible. They're like, why I got to listen to the Bible? Why I got to listen to the government? What's the, you know what I'm saying? It's like, who, who's the government to say, wh who, why do they get to choose what's, what's morally acceptable? Yeah, the hell these niggas. A lot of these people, they, I, I don't even know half the niggas in the government. The sinners, the fuck, I don't know these people. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of Edomites. Yeah, who are these goddamn people? These people just fall, blindly following these people. You don't even know these people. They're not our people. They do not represent us. They fucking, fucking little kids and shit, being homosexuals. Yeah, that's it. that's why they killed that uh, Jeffrey Epstein guy. Everybody know about that. They covering up all that child pedophilia because it's gonna come out 
that everybody up in that motherfucker is molesting children. Everybody. All them senators. All they a bunch of child molesters. Devil worship. Clinton through, yeah. But then what? Yeah, when he was all doing like creepy ass shit with the little kids. Oh, that's Joe, Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. So he was over there, little kid, little girl, he was over there smelling her and shit, playing with her hair. Like, they they call him the creepy Uncle Joe. Yeah. He a, he a molester, bro. He don't, he got no shame in his game, bro. He get on live TV and molest the hell out of children. On the camera, rubbing on 12 year olds. Oh, motherfuckers that get on us. They'll say, oh, because we said a woman can marry when she's 12, but they ain't going to make a video about Joe Biden. This motherfucker molesting children on live TV. Boy, Trump, he must have fucking fucked his daughter. See, yeah. He probably already did fuck her. Yeah, I believe, I believe so. And he's like, yeah, if I wasn't her father, well, he's the first he's like, uh, what do you say now? Yeah, he said that. He said that's what he said. If it wasn't his father, he'd have sex with a date or something. He said something else too, though. Damn. Chop, look at him. He said that one time. Think about you. He said something else too. I think he was like, if I ain't, if I ain't so old, and you know, her daughter, of course, I mean, her father, I would, I would have been there too. Well, Trump, grew, Trump grew up in a, uh, that atmosphere. You know, his, his family got rich off of running uh, brothels, off of prostitution. They was pretty much pimps. They they have uh, ran a pro, uh, brothels and shit up in the, what, up in Alaska or Canada? Up in the Yukon? I mean, Trump made his fortune off of what? Gambling? I was about to look for that scripture. What is it? Oh, three. I knew it was in like somewhere in the beginning. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna start at five. I'm gonna get this uh this first Kings three and five. And Gibeon, Yahweh, which is the Most High, appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And the Most High said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he has walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept him for this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. Oh now, oh now, Yahweh, my power! Thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people, the that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude, which is talking about the Israelites. Okay, just like that great number that can't be numbered was spoken of in Revelation, the seventh chapter, because salvation is for the Israelites. It says, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so great a people? And this speech pleased. Uh, the Most High that Solomon had asked this thing. And the Most High said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing and hast not asked for thy self long life, neither hast thou asked. <laughs> I'm starting to stutter, bro. It's a lot of reading. And has not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for the self understanding and disturbed judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words, lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any rise like unto thee. Oh, so you're going to tell me, we like your house out. See, they don't know about that one. Because if we tell people, 
the Yahweh Shai and Solomon in the reincarnation go bug out. And so we on the comic board can talk shit about that. <laughs> oh man, I done lost my spot. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy ways. But pretty much, like you said, we was talking to the judgment because the so Solomon prayed to the Most High and we prayed, he prayed for the knowledge and wisdom so he'd be able to judge his people because he just became king. So he, he didn't he didn't pray that he'd be, oh, I, I pray that I'll be the greatest king ever. I'll be able to conquer all the enemies. They're going to remember me for years. Yeah, I'm going to get all the bitches, all the women. Solomon didn't pray for that. He prayed that he'd be able to judge his people because he really cared about his people. And he really cared about the Heavenly Father. And he cared about his commandments. So he prayed to the Heavenly Father that he'd be able to judge his people. And since he didn't pray for riches and honor and glory, he got all that. He's the richest man to ever live. That's the thing, too. We, we got to keep in mind, you know what I'm saying? Because we got the little one of these kings, too. So, hey. That same, same shit applies. Yeah, you, can't be, you know what I'm saying? You can't be in your mind, like, yeah. Okay. Of course, you're going to have many wives, but you can't just have that. That's, that's your main goal. Oh, I don't want kings. I have 2,000 wives. It's more than just that. You know what I'm saying? So, we can live in righteousness and peace and never sin again. That, that women's going to come, of course. But think about the main picture. The main picture is not women. It's not about killing all your enemies. Well, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a major point. But the main <laughs> point is to live in righteousness and peace. Yeah, to live in righteousness you know and peace. To keep the law perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the, you got to keep your eye on that Brother, pride. Out. Yes, sir. There is no thing which is new. It is all old. old. Right? Under the sun. <laughs> right, there's no, nothing new under the sun. I got this piece of that. Uh, oh, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. In a wise man's heart, discerneth between time and judgment. Oh, between time and judgment. I go back to the judgment. Because you got you to gotta be a spiritual man to be able to judge. People out here is not spiritual. They don't. They can't discern between good and evil. I can. I can give anybody a good and evil quiz, and they're gonna fail it. Oh really? A good. You want to take the good and evil quiz? <laughs> I'll probably fail it. Though. Oh, you gonna fail it? Okay. So what's one question? I mean, there's a lot of questions. I mean. You supposed to follow the commandments in the Bible, yay or nay? Yes. What are the commandments? There's, well, actually, after Jesus, there's only two. There's only two? The scripture love, says that. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, body, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. He and said all the laws hang on these two. Yes. So he said all the laws. Yes. All the laws. But the Ten Commandments fit into those two commandments. Why? Because he's a fulfillment of the law. So, what about, uh, so you gotta keep the Ten Commandments, right? So, if you don't keep the Sabbath, you gotta get put to death, right? No. That's, it, that's no. in the Ten Commandments. No, he said, Wait, what? Jesus didn't, he broke the Sabbath. He said the Sabbath was made for man, not man for Sabbath. That's because the man would be Healing. He didn't do it just because he wanted to do it. Yeah. He, he needed to. He, he was hungry. But he healed the blind man on the Sabbath. Yeah, That's because he's not like going up. Exactly. If you, like he said if your ox fell in the ditch on the Sabbath, you're just gonna let it die. Now you're being not showing mercy. It's all about mercy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's part of the law. Judgment, mercy, and faith. King David, what do you do? do? Uh, actually, the Maccabees, they said, uh, remember the, the first, they was like, we ain't gonna fight. They come against us on the Sabbath because of the Sabbath. But he says, he said, next time they come, according to the Lord, we're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. they, so they so far broke the Sabbath. So sometimes you got to, uh, sometimes you break the laws. Sometimes you break the law because we're not saved by keeping the commandments. Right. 
but you got to keep those commandments. You're now back to the Ten Commandments. Now, the Bible, there's commandments in the Bible that say you're not allowed to have sex with your mother. True. So, are we supposed to keep that commandment? Uh, yeah. But that's not in the Ten Commandments. No. So the law, we do have to keep the law then. We have to keep some of the law. The ritual purity laws. What? He said some of the law. What scripture said that? The, some of the law, just the ones you like and don't like. No, no, Jesus. Okay, the, book the only doing. laws we don't keep no more is sacrifice. Yeah, that's the ritual laws. Right. So everything else is still still in play. All the ethical laws are still fine. Like the dietary laws. You're not supposed to eat pork. That's in the Bible. True. But, if you, but, but, but God said to Peter, shoot me. Oh. He said, he went back. He said don't call no man coming. He was talking about people in that scripture. That's not talking about animals at all. That's talking about Israelite, Israelites who were scattered. But we're supposed to keep the dietary laws. The Lord didn't eat pork. Okay? Also, we're supposed to keep the holy days. The Passover. That's not the Ten Commandments either. Passover is not the Ten Commandments. The Lord, He kept the Passover. He kept the, he kept the uh, all the holidays in the Bible. Okay, he didn't celebrate Christmas. That's not just really when you celebrate Christmas, you're breaking the commandments. Because that's a heathen holiday, yes. holiday of heathens. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Romans 3 31. Do we did make void the law through faith? Oh yeah. So do we void the law through faith? Say everybody he <laughs> failed the test. Uh yeah, read that again. Everybody tries to say the Lord. See, they just try to think they can pick and choose what they want to follow. That's because that's the bullshit they was taught growing up. The only reason he believes that is because that's what he was taught. You know, pastor, that's what the church has been teaching for millennia. Oh, you can break all the laws. Oh, there's only two commandments. That's some bullshit. When you examine that, it all falls apart real quick. Go ahead. He said we established the law. Because we know we saved by our faith. We know that. Because we all break the law. You know what I mean? Sometimes we got work on the Sabbath. Just like the Lord. He had to work on the Sabbath that one time. And they wanted to kill him for it. He healed somebody on the Sabbath. We see that. We know that. But he was doing good works. See? No, none of these people keep the Sabbath. They say they got to keep the Ten Commandments. There's a lot of Christians will say that. Oh, we got to keep the Ten Commandments and that's it. You're not even keeping that. Just keeping the Sabbath, that's in the Ten Commandments. Shit. The Ten Commandments also say you ain't supposed to have no idols. You ain't supposed to make no, no images of anything that's in heaven. Or on earth, right? You know what I mean? Damn, what the hell is that? That's the future. But you like you look at the Catholic Church is nothing but idolatry. And all the all these all these fake Christian churches. They Christian in name only. They all a bunch of idolaters. These people they do not know the scriptures, man. And they don't want to receive correction either. What's that script? I'm going to do a word search on this. They, they hate receiving correction. Romans 7, 12. It says, Wherefore the law is holy, they command it holy and just and good. So it's talking about good and evil. They can discern, but it says the commandment is just and good. Oh, yeah, that's right. They cannot discern between good and evil. Because good and evil. Because what is evil? Evil is breaking the commandments. That's evil. And these people, they don't even know what the commandments are. They, they just got made up commandments. They made up in their head. That's the commandments they believe in. It's a man-made commandments. Oh! What made me think of that scripture? Let's get down to verse 22. It says, For I delight in the law of God after the end of man. So it says, Paul well, so he said, You delight in the law of the Lord. That's what it's supposed to be. They, they hate it. They despise it. They, 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 they,
that's like you said, that's what that's all the law hangs upon. The love that neighbor has that self. You won't kill it, you won't kill it. He said all the law. That means you gotta keep all the law. Yeah. You won't kill your neighbor because you love him. You won't you won't make an idol and worship other gods because you love the most high. Exactly. You keep the Sabbath so on and so forth because those are two those are two that's the two commandments that pretty much summarize the whole the whole law. That doesn't mean no, that's only two we're supposed to keep. Hey, hey, that's the thing. What is love? How the fuck do you love somebody? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Second John 2 and 10, and this is love that we keep his commandments. Or walk after his commandments, or something like that. Yeah, if I love somebody, I'm not going to make them work on the Sabbath. I'm like, hey, go rest, go do what you got to do. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If I love that person, I'm going to pay him. If he did something for me, I'm going to pay him that very damn life. I'm going to be like, you got to wait till, till Saturday to get paid. Some crazy shit. All right. Gonna, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not going to do him dirty. You know what I'm saying? He owed me money. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then I, I fucking call to, to, uh, charge him fucking usury or some shit. Or steal from them, whatever, because you fucking know. They don't know what usury is. But here it is. They sitting there complaining about their credit card bill and their interest rates on their mortgage. And they're complaining about all this interest. Well, that's what you get. Yeah. Fucking, they got them companies, they, tell me, they act like they love you and shit. They care for you, though. We care for you. We, uh, we, we care and all that shit. Be laid on a payment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, laid on a payment. They interest that shit. Yeah. Your bill, your bill $50 now is like 64 now. It gets to go to 70 God damn, nigga. That's why they anybody charging usury, yeah, y'all gonna get it. Y'all gotta come it, man. That's against the scriptures, charging people interest. And this whole this whole economy runs on interest. That's what keeps it going, is the interest. All these banks, look, the banks exist because of interest. Now look, all the big buildings in almost every city is all banks. That tells you who's running shit. Every skyscraper in downtown Columbus. Is a bank. They, they don't, that tells you who's running shit. Who got the biggest buildings? Either bank or they go insurance. Same thing. What was we just talking about? We said you make a point. Oh, yeah, because these people, they say uh, the law is done away with. You only have to keep two laws or the Ten Commandments. I guess that means they're saying is bestiality is okay. It is laws in the Bible against bestiality. So when they say the law is done away with, they're saying it's okay. You can fuck horses. You can let a horse fuck your wife. Why not? The law is done away with. What's the big deal? Because that's in the law, right? Something. Ah! Yeah, the land Sabbath is a land Sabbath. Every seven years, you're supposed to let your land rest. The scripture says you gotta keep the holy days forever. You know, you know, time period we just stop. This is fucking stupid. That's, that's the dumbest fucking gotcha I've ever heard. Oh, what about this one? Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 26. But they that would not be reformed by that correction, wherein he dallied with them, shall feel a judgment worthy of the Most High. <laughs> they gonna get that worthy judgment. I just did a word search on correction. It was good. I just did a word search on correction. I'll probably get a bunch of Proverbs. Oh, Jeremiah 7 and 28. I'm going to have to bring all that out, but let's get this. Jeremiah 7 and 28. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their power, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Truth is perished out here. It is perished. I need to bring the rest of it. I bet there's more fire in that chapter. <laughs> Truth just perished out this motherfucker. And that's exactly why this fucking earth is dying. Like I said, that doctrine that all oh, that shit is that shit is destroying the earth. That's destroying people's bodies. They got people smoking cigarettes, eating trash. Now you fucking 20 years old, you fucking got back pain and shit. 
Lucky as hell, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got, he says you know what I'm saying? You got 10 kids, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who the fuck the daddy is. That's, that's all due. That's all due because there's no law. You're just lawless. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. That's real talk. Look how fat these motherfuckers are, bro. Hey, bro. Come this nigga again. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> yes, sir. You're right. Yeah, I forgot your boy's name is Lord Zenu. You know about Lord Zenu? You don't know about Lord Zeno. He was a dictator of the Galactic F Confederation, bro. <laughs> you don't know about the Galactic Confederation? Come on, bro. You, you can talk about the secrets with me. <laughs> Lord Zenu. Zenu up in there. You big Zenu head. And hey, that dude might be a Jake, though. I called him an Edomite earlier. I don't think Esau wastes his time doing shit like that. Only Jake is dumb enough to do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna read that again. This is Jeremiah 7 and 28. Uh oh, I'm scared. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Cut off uh, thine hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. I'm sorry. That was pretty much the point on that scripture. I'm gonna look for some more correction. Well, I mean, this is the Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. If people, they get weary of the correction. When we want to set them straight, like, listen, no. You have to keep the commandment. That's a big one. You gotta keep the commandments, bro. Okay, that's part of that's part of the Lord's righteousness, is his commandments. And that's the main thing they do not want to see the correction on is they don't wanna they don't wanna keep the commandments. They reject the commandments. Did you find one? Oh here. What, what's that? What's that for? It's a childhood movie. <laughs> Movie hoes. What is it? Hoes. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen it. I'm tired, digging. I'm tired, digging these hoes, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. I ain't seen that. I'm sorry, that's too that. That's what I used to watch when I was a child. I'm sorry. That shit had to be But, uh, you said you got something? I got something. I got two. Okay. Why right, this one? <laughs> Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction. Correction is grievous. Unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Ooh. That's hard. Yes, they hate reproof. Yes, it, like you say, because keeping the commandments is life. So when you're not keeping the commandments, you doing, you doing ill to yourself. Is that, is that you, you kill yourself when you break the commandments. I mean, you eating all this pork. You're going to eat all that pork, what's going to happen? You're going to have a heart attack and you're going to die. Cancer. You're going to get, yeah, you're going to get cancer. So they got oh. a study for a couple years ago, they said they finally found it out. Yeah, so bacon they, caused cancer. Yeah, you know, they, shot, they probably banned it, actually. But, uh, shrimp, high cholesterol. Uh, what is this It's like, you about to say Nah, go ahead. Shit, it's a... Yeah, all that, uh... All that shit causes cancer. Oh, yeah. The goddamn coronavirus. Motherfuckers eating bats. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, that's why Lord, the Lord, uh, what is that? Second Edges 2 says, I think it's Second Edges 2. He said, the Lord said, you haven't forsaken me, you have forsaken yourself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a fire script. Yeah, right, you forsaken yourself. Really, when you break the commandments, you're breaking yourself. When you think about it, you just fucking yourself up. That's good, though. You're self destructive. Hey, Israel's known for making poor life decisions.
<laughs> Here you go. Proverbs 22 and 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Dumb bitch. Messed up my script. I'm going to read it again. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but a rod of correction shall drive it from him. You got beat the hell out of your psychosis. But yeah, that's what problem people is not raising their children right and not correcting them. Because you're supposed to raise your children upon the scriptures. Not on the ways of the world. Not, not about what pastor taught you. Not what you believe in your heart. On the scriptures. Yeah, as soon as we... That, that is... See, that's... The deep things of the spirit. I didn't start reading... I just started talking about little children in the scripture, and they walk by as soon as I read it. There ain't no such thing as coincidences, man. We ain't been no children out here all day. It's downtown, ain't no children out here. Uh, what's another one? Well, with, well, damn. That's the same scripture, but it's a little different. Proverbs 23 and 13. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Which means to correct your children. You don't mean to go beat the shit out of them and kill them. Uh, what's up? You got anything else you want to bring up? disciples because we discipline we received the correction we received the reproof and now we it's a discipline but they're saying it's easy everybody would do yep. everybody you know everybody really got discipline like they might be able to like they might get a habit or whatever like like learn piano or learn how to sing or dance then some people they don't they, they just they, they uh, do it for a couple weeks and they get tired of it because they don't got no discipline to that tedious process they just stop yeah to be great takes discipline I'll oh, take your boy Kobe we're gonna bring up Kobe oh shit Kobe gone he out the game but he was disciplined with it with his shit that's why he was one of the greatest because he's disciplined he's hard on himself Muhammad Ali Muhammad Ali boy nigga that nigga the greatest right now he said, he said, I, I want I to start counting. You know how you do push up and shit and sit ups? Yeah. He said, I won't start counting until it hurts. Then I start counting. That shit, that's, that's dedication. That's, that's a motherfucking dedication right now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the spirit, though. That's how I used, I used to not count them when I used to do it. They count the mess messes you up, man. Because then, then you got this number in your head messing you up. Yeah. You can do more than what you could think. It says... It's a thing too. Discipline, that's crazy that I was thinking about. It. Discipline, it's like, it's tedious, you know what I'm saying? Whatever is hard, whatever. Sometimes when the flesh gets weak, you get all lazy and shit. But it's something you just gotta, you gotta get your ass up and do some work. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, it says, love not sleep unless you come to poverty. Yeah. You know, that could be physically in. Spiritually, yeah. Right, like if you don't stay studying these scriptures, you're gonna forget them all. You gotta stay on top of it, you know what I mean? You can't let your sword get all rusty. You gotta polish it, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Shine it, you gotta shine it. You gotta sharpen it. Oh yeah, we go through them phases, boy. You gotta stay on that Hebrew, you forget it all. It says, uh, in the care of, uh, we read again, for the, the true beginning of her is desire of discipline. You gotta desire that discipline. Yeah, desire to discipline. Because you want to get better, bro. Yeah, we go back to that. Any kind of sports analogy works perfectly. Like, you know how good it feels to splash a three, right? But to get good at hitting them threes, right, like from way downtown, bro, that takes a lot of work. What's up, man? Just get my hand out, man. Don't be, dude! 
But you know what I'm saying? But you shooting on that, working on that jumper, bro, that take a lot of work and discipline. And you got to take hours and hours. Same thing with this truth. It take hours and hours, you know, he's studying. Putting in work. Actually, hours and hours of teaching. Not just studying, hours of you putting in time teaching. So you got to be disciplined to come out here. Some guys can't even make it out to teach every week. All my life, all my life. They get weak, they get tired. Oh, like you said, they be lazy. They, they going to be at home sleepy, talking about, oh, I don't want to go teaching today. And they going to make up some bullshit excuse why they couldn't make it. Love right, is the keeping of her laws. Yeah, love, love. It's like that's real love, baby. It's keeping the commandments, the laws. That's love. That's to say the same thing as the John, Second John two and ten. Same thing. Go ahead. And giving heed unto her laws, the assurance of incorruption. Woo! That's the assurance of incorruption. Right, because when you get corrupted through breaking the law, all kind of corruption. Well, what happens if you fall after other, another god? Well, that, that's all kind of spiritual corruption. Well, if you eat pork, your bo physical body going to be corrupted. You're going to get fat, get diabetes, cancer, colon cancer. You got to go see the proctologist now. <laughs> They sticking fucking cameras up your asshole. That's from eating all that pork and all that unclean foods. Go ahead. And corruption maketh us dear unto God. Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the earth, other peoples, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Yeah, honor wisdom. Now that go back to King Solomon. That go right back to King Solomon. Remember, when he first came king, he had a dream, and he prayed for wisdom. He didn't, he didn't pray to be the, the top ruler, to, to be the most powerful king. He prayed to have wisdom so he could judge his people. Hey, it's like if, if a genie was real, he got three wishes. Or just one wish, bro. What's the first thing most people going to wish for? Riches, money. How many people out here going hey, going to wish for some wisdom, for some knowledge? What's the percentage you take? You know what I mean? One in a thousand? That's what I was thinking. Like, I was watching Jack and Ball. Kick it up. Kick it up. Yeah. Watching Jack and Ball, you know what I'm saying? They gather the seven Dragon Ball and shit. They, yeah. They, uh, they got a wish. I'm thinking in my head, like, what don't you just wish for? I was going to wish for a... Uh, all wisdom. Yeah. To be fucking, to be, you know what I'm saying? Shit. But they, 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 they ask me, you know, shit. Whatever the case is, but, you know, this is a show. But still, that's what I would wish for. You know what I'm saying? Because if you had all understanding, shit, you didn't know what to, you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know how to, that, that, that's why shit, uh, uh, I gotta read that part again. The incorrect part of the wisdom they could Because really, 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 a real wish is a prayer anyway. So the only thing you're supposed to be praying for, bro, is that this kingdom comes. It says, uh, and, and, uh, giving heed unto the laws is their assurance of incorruption. You know what I'm saying? So if you keep the laws, you for sure are going to live forever. Forever. More than that's why, yeah, that's why I like the Lord say, like, oh, uh, he may have said it many times in the Bible, uh, you shall live forever, uh, you shall have eternal life. So, yeah. so how are you going to have that? You gotta have wisdom. You gotta keep the other commandments first. You ain't gonna just do it just because you love God. Or whatever. You say you love God. It's more than just that. If you truly love God, you're gonna do what the fuck he tells you to do. I love you. I love you. Back to wisdom, Solomon 6 and uh, 22. As for wisdom, what, uh, what is she and how she came up? I will tell you, I will not hide mysteries from you, but I will seek her out from the beginning of her nectivity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Oh, that's that fire scripture. Yeah, the multitude of the wise. Is the welfare of the world. 
That's why this world that we live now is not faring well. Because there ain't no multitude of no wise. You got a multitude of degenerates. A multitude of jackasses. There ain't no multitude of wise. That's why there ain't no nobody faring well. Wise king is the voting of his people. Receive therefore instruction. Hey, go back to King Solomon again. Yeah, wise king is the upholding of his people. Who's the wisest king? Hey, oh, back to Solomon, your house shot. I, I ain't trying to say too much. Oh, who did? Wait, are your girl, where the corona? Right there, walk King is the motive of the people. Receive therefore instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. Oh, it shall do you good. Okay. So that's all about this wisdom, man. People don't give a damn about wisdom, bro. Hey, you sound. Go back to Corinthians. We first started off reading it. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that perish. When we out here talking about wisdom, People just gonna look at you like, bruh. They, they, we, we really sound stupid to them, you know what I mean? That's the amazing part of it. They really laugh at you. Because you know, people will make fun of you if you're smart. Say if you're a computer nerd. If you're in the computers, they call you a nerd. I'm like, oh, you a computer nerd. That's a derogatory term. I get made fun of, hold on, because I'm smarter than you. You know what I'm saying? If you into any kind of knowledge at all, they call you a nerd. They talking about, oh, yeah, you a lame, oh, that's why you don't get no pussy. You know what I mean? They like, I tell, you know, I tell them, like, I'm into mathematics. They be like, I'm into pussy. Oh, ignorant ass fools out here, man. Yeah, y'all niggas, y'all niggas really. Niggas, that's, a, that's a disgrace. Yeah, niggas act really because they, they act like pussy is the only fucking thing to like. That's like the only thing. Like, if you don't get no pussy, you just, your, your life is ruined or some shit. Like, yeah, it's more than life than that, that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you ain't you bad for my pussy, but yeah, that. I think you put that shit on the pet. Young people and young people are pussy, but. You know what I'm saying? Hey, last I heard on all them dating profiles, women like an intelligent man. <laughs> that's what all these they were intelligent conversation that's what they all say I can't tell So a harlot shall become impudent. Yeah, so this nigga, they always around bitches all the goddamn time. I mean, like I said, we ain't faggots, we like bitches, whatever the case is. But it's more than life than, than that. And you see that niggas that always around bitches, oh, I got all these bitches. All, all, all them niggas are impudent. Rude as hell, proud as fuck. Probably got crabs. Yeah, got an STD fucking these bitches, bro. Show for life. Don't think you guys are women. That's all you got. And most of them they brag about a woman, they not even getting a woman either. They ain't they just talk that they talk this shit. They they just assholes. It's, that's just the thing, cause you're if you're intelligent you, 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 you get you get frowned upon for being disciplined and studious. You know what I'm saying? They frown upon the knowledge and wisdom out here. Man. 
Oh yeah, if we get they laugh us, that's true. <laughs> Hey, man, it's just madness. Everything is upside down. I'm gonna turn it upside down. It's just crazy. Like, what the fuck? Hey, bro, if you was a smart kid at school, you getting beat up. They gonna beat you get beat up for being smart. Why get him? That's that nerd. <laughs> that nigga can really grow up most likely to become a fucking famous billionaire or some shit. Now he got all the bitches. Oh, yeah. yeah. That kid's right. He's a mother. Cause really, that's that's what gets all the pussy. You got the money. Money gets pussy. Hey, but your broke ass ain't getting a bunch of women. You get a bunch of mentally uh, disabled bitches. <laughs> that's two thirds of Israel women. They mentally disabled. Really, ain't nothing to glory. And these bitches are easy as fuck anyway. They easy. They're trash. They're pussy trash. Pussy blown the fuck out. Don't have thousands of dicks in it. Like, well, they, they, they open their fucking legs to anybody as long as you give them the time and say the right words. I mean, this like, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Buy, yeah. buy them dinner. You buy them a, you can buy them a, a value meal at McDonald's or something. Yeah. You'd be able to hit. Yeah. Buy them a, take them out for a pizza. Niggas acting like they tame the fucking uh, lion or something. Look, look what I got. Mate, we can, you can get one of these bitches with a little Caesar's pizza. Yeah. Bitches like straight dogs, you know what I'm saying? Dog will follow you anywhere. Give them some food and I'm gonna come with you. I mean, you got a little bit of weed or something. Yeah. That's all you need. A little drugs. I mean, drugs and alcohol. That's. Yeah, yeah. I know you seen the meme with the uh, the hood rat trap. You seen that? You got a mouse trap with like a four loco on him with a bag of weed, a couple swishers. I mean, how hard is that? To, you know what I mean? How hard is that? Bitches talking about they want somebody intelligent. <laughs> I was about to get a scripture, I don't forgot it. Oh yeah. I want to get a classic scripture. Cause this one it all boils down to at the end of the day. I used to read this scripture all the time. Proverbs 13 and 13. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 13 says, it says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment, oh, the commandment, he's talking about the commandments. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Let me read that again. Whoso despiseth the word, the Bible, whoso despiseth the word, shall be destroyed but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded so that's the end of the day if you despise these words and these commandments you're going to be destroyed so like we're not worried about you you're going to be you're going to be died in it you're going to be died in it you're going to be dead in it the most high going to dead you you're going to be eliminated I'm going to keep going on this. This is fire. That's what Dallas be saying. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't know where they got that. Oh, shit. It said, The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. See? That's the snares of death. Breaking the commandments. That's the snares of death. And none but death can come from breaking those commandments. What happens if you caught, commit adultery? Somebody gonna be coming for you, looking for you to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anything. If you, if you steal from somebody, somebody coming, they're coming to fuck you up. You know? They find out you stole that. Oh, they, they, you about to get it, bro. If you eat pork, what's going to happen? You're eating all this unclean food. You're going to get fat. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get colon cancer. Oh, some, you're, going to, you're going to die. Okay? So breaking the commandments. Let me read that again. How did I say that? The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Right. 
So keeping these commandments, that'll help. There's scriptures on that. If you keep the commandments, you'll have a long life. You know what I mean? Because you're living smart. You're living wise. And you will out. I mean, you don't know, nobody knows you can, we get the most high can kill us at any moment. The say no, but keeping the commandments it is gonna keep you alive. That's, that's the reason why we're gonna live forever in the kingdom. Yeah. Because the scripture says that the law is gonna be written inside of us. So we that's the reason why we that's why scripture says. Uh, I might as well get it real quick so I can so I just keep going. Yeah. Why, 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 do, why, why do you people think we die? You know what I'm saying? Why do you think people die for it? Because we break the laws. It all commandments. Well, it started with that first commandment. It said, don't eat of that fruit. The bitch ate it. It says, uh, Romans 6, 1 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? All right, uh, let me skip down to... Uh, I'll go ahead. Okay. It says, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, and servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of right, obedience unto righteousness. Sin unto death. Oh, that, or obedience. Oh, the camera's about to die. Shit. Shit. All right, get what you uh, got to get God out. God, we think that you were the servants of sins, but ye have obeyed him from the heart, the doctrine which were delivered from, delivered to you. Uh, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of their purposes of your flesh, because you have yielded your members' service to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity. Even so now I yield your members' service to righteousness and to holiness. When you were the service of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye did in those things, whereof you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, being made free from sin and being service to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahushua Mashiach. Woo, that's fire. I just got to turn it off.